So the Fijians need one point to make it through to the quarterfinals of this Rugby World Cup. And in this video, I'm going to be trying to predict what the Fijian side will be looking like in their game up against Portugal this weekend, in which they either need a win or a bonus point of some sort, then they will be taking on the English. But looking through, first of all, at the front row, I have decided to go with number one, Penny Ravai, number two, Tavita Ikenaveri, and number three, Luke Tangi. So that would actually be two changes from what they did have in that last game. So that would actually be two changes from what they did have in their last match up against the Georgians. Penny Ravai, he looked very good off the bench, making the seven tackles. So I think this will be a good opportunity for the Fijians to bring him into that starting side, give him a few more minutes, and then also give a Ronnie Maui a bit of a spell. Number two, Tavera Ikenaveri. I believe that this is the best option for them. I actually predicted that they would go with them in the last game rather than Sam Matavisi. And the reason I said that was because of Matavisi's lineouts in the game up against Australia. He was struggling a bit, but nowhere near as much as he struggled up against Georgia. So that is why I would go with Tavita Ikenaveri. Also coming off the bench at 39 metres carried, making a clean break along the way as well. So yeah, I think Ikenaveri pretty safe to put into the starting side. And then Luke Tangi, he also had quite a few metres carried, 32 for himself, making some good yards, having a fantastic game for the tie head prop. Looking at the locks, I believe this week they will decide to switch it up. They've gone with the Soana Sila Sila and Te Ehuaru Vita for the last few games, and I believe this one is where they will make the changes. Number four, Timo Mayana Vanua, and then number five, Albert Tuisui. So still two players who have had plenty of minutes throughout this Rugby World Cup, just coming off the bench rather then in the starting side, but Timo Mainavanua got himself a turnover in the last game up against the Georgians. Albert Tuisui always going to charge hard at the line, make you those few extra metres. And in this game, we've got to remember, even if Fiji do end up having the loss, if they get themselves four tries, it will not matter the result. That will still get them the bonus point that they require. And I feel like with big runs from these forwards, that is something that will help the Fijians on the front foot alongside this exciting back line I've selected. But looking through at the loose forward trio now. Number six, I believe they will be going with Lakima Tangi Tangi Valu. I was thinking about resting him for this game, but I believe that the Fijians, they'll want to give him another crack. Seeing as he is in such good form, there was a chance that they could consider switching him to number seven and resting Lavani Bortia. But I believe at this stage, Tangi Tangi Valu, he'll be in that loose forward trio alongside Bortia. So there's no point putting him into that number seven jersey. He got himself two turnovers, one in the last game for Fiji as well. Number seven, I think they'll go with Valeve Mira Mira, a Fijian draw player who we haven't really seen a huge amount of throughout this Rugby World Cup, but they don't want to overwork Botia for making it to the quarterfinals. Now, of course, they can't underestimate Portugal, but I still feel with the players, even the ones who haven't had a lot of game time, there is still potential for that side to walk away with the victory. And then number eight, Meri Dirialangi, the captain of the Fijian Drua, a fantastic player who has had limited opportunities throughout this Rugby World Cup. And I feel like this is the best time to give him the crack. I was considering putting him at six, but then I decided Lakima Tangi Tangi Valu can keep his spot. So Dirialangi playing eight. It's not an uncommon position for him to play. We've seen him do it for the draw. So that is why I believe the Fijian selectors will put him there to close out. The Fijian four-pack looking through at the back line. I believe they will make the switch back to Frank Lamani this week rather than Simeone Kuravuli. We actually saw quite a massive impact from Frank Lamani in that last game, helping his side towards that victory as the first half for the Fijian draw, there were handling errors, there were penalties against them. Second half, a lot more stability started coming into play. Whether or not that was down to Frank Lamani, I don't believe it all was, but he certainly helped out alongside those other players who made their way off the bench. And number 10, I believe this will be the first opportunity in the starting lineup throughout this Rugby World Cup for Villamoni Botitu. We've seen him come off the bench a couple times. Today, Teller has been starting. I think they'll make this switch here and give Botitu a crack in the starting XV. Out on the left wing, Vinaya Habossi. Three defenders beaten in that last game up against the Georgians. Also scored himself a try. The coaches have to be very careful with how much they use Radradra, with how much they use Tuisova, and how much they use Waisia. Naya Thalevu throughout this game, I believe we'll see at least one of them making their way off the bench. If not, maybe even another one of those three in the starting lineup. But the last thing that they want 
is what happened right at the end of that game up against the Georgians. And that was that Tui Sova yellow card. Now, injuries, of course, can play a huge factor in this Rugby World Cup, but suspensions are also something that need to be kept in mind. So Fiji don't want to risk any of their big players in that back line in a game up against Portugal, which a lot of people feel they should be able to win without having those massive players in there. Yes, we saw the Portuguese play pretty well up against the Georgians, as well as Australia. But the Fijians at this stage of the competition, I'd like to think they've built up enough momentum to be able to carry them. Throughout this game, number 12, I have gone with Kalaviti Revovo and number 13, Osifu Masi, a man who scored the most tries for the Fijian draw throughout an individual season. He hasn't really had too many chances for the Fijians at international level, but the reason I would go with him at 13 is because he offers a lot when it comes to that attack. Kalaviti Revovo, his teammate at number 12, that is the perfect combo. If you were going to put Osifu Masi at number 13, there's also a chance, like I mentioned, Tuisova or a Dradra could be that inside centre role, but I think Osefo Masi, this will be a good time to give him some minutes under his belt. Number 14, I would stick with Celestino Ravatamanda. He had 42 metres carried in the last game for the Fijians. Coming into the lineup, he was actually the only change compared to what they did have in that starting 15 up against the Australians. And to be honest, he was one of the better players who were out there on the field for the Fijians. So I can understand why they would give Celestino Ravatamanda another chance here in the starting lineup. Up against the Portuguese. And then number 15. I believe the selectors will be sticking with Eliza Droasisi. He had 116 metres carried in the last contest. One clean break. He's been playing some very good rugby lately. And I don't think they'll want to break that momentum that he is now created for himself. He is one of those younger players in that back line when you compare his age to some of those experienced centers that I've mentioned. So normally with young players, if they can avoid injury, the more minutes that they get building into those important playoff games, the better. And I think Eliza Dorosisi, he's pretty much cemented himself as the starting 15 for the Fijians. So that is why I think they'll be sticking with him at fullback for this game. But that's the starting lineup. Now for who I think the Fijians will be going with off the bench. Number 16, Zaril Togiotama. Number 17, Aroni Maui. And number 18, Samu Tawake. Now Tawake got his first minutes in the last game that he played up against the Georgians. We hadn't really seen him much before that stage. It was normally Masaki Donge. But for now, it seems like Tawake is getting that little bit more of a nod up the pecking order. So I think they'll go with him once more. Aroni Maui, I believe he will be somewhere amongst the starting lineup or reserves. I think he will be starting in the quarterfinals if the Fijians make it, and that will be up against the English, so that will be a tough battle. But we know Aroni Maui in the last couple games, been able to get himself some turnovers, also making a lot of tackles throughout the game. So he should be ready for that challenge. Zaril Togiotama, the reason I believe they'll go with him is because Matavisi is out of form. The question mark, I think, is whether or not they stick with Matavisi just that little bit longer, see whether or not he can find that momentum before heading into those quarters, or whether they decide that maybe to be able to find that momentum, he needs a week off out of the starting lineup and reserves to really concentrate on those lineouts because that is something that the Fijians, they are losing lineouts to England. England are a side that will be able to counter and will cause a lot of damage in the process. So 100% lineout accuracy course is the overall goal but if you can get 85 to 90 percent you're still doing pretty well Matavisi in that last game was probably looking more 50 50 if not lower in his favor so definitely we'll want to have a break for this game number 19 I believe they'll go with either Asuana Selesila or Ti Ahuaru Thureka Davita but I've said it will be Ti Ahuaru Thureka Davita nine tackles made in the last game one turnover one for himself and I think that will be what gives him that slight edge alongside the fact that he plays as a blindside flanker as well. And then number 20 off the bench, I have put Lavani Bortia. Five defenders beaten in the last game, 11 tackles made, two turnovers won. The man is in some of the best form we have seen from him at international level in a long time. And that is why I believe they will have him come off the bench rather than the starting lineup, have him close the game just in case it's close between Fiji and Portugal, and then just like he did in that game up against Wales, have a real late impact. In that game, it was almost enough to get the Fijians the victory. He did enough in that game to then get to start up against the Australians. He was one of the standout players for that game. Also did very well up against Georgia. So I think he'll find himself somewhere when it comes 
to play in the Portuguese. Now the back replacements. Number 21, Penny Matawalu. I believe they will be resting Simeone Kuravuli here, saving him for that quarterfinal matchup if the Fijians do manage to qualify. Number 22, Semi Rodradra, and number 23, Sorelli Mungwala. And that is going to be to replace Eliza Drua Sisi maybe around 50, 55 minutes or so to make sure that he is still fresh for those quarterfinals. That would only be the week straight after this game. Up against Portugal, Semi Rodradra could either come into the centres or replace one of the two players out on the wing, depending on what the Fijians do need for that back line. And Penny Watawalu, he hasn't had a huge amount of game time throughout this Rugby World Cup, so I would like to see him get a few minutes before the end of the competition. But I do thank you all very much for tuning in. Do let me know what you think the coaches will be selecting in this lineup. There is a chance that they go full strength. There is a chance they go experimental. But one thing's for sure, the Fijians need a win or to walk away with at least that one point. If they are able to do so, they will make it to the quarterfinals, which is something they weren't able to do in 2019. But overall, throughout this competition and the last 12 months, the Fijians have been looking extremely strong. So I hope they do well. Portugal will be up for the fight. They have shown that throughout their other games in the Rugby World Cup comp. But I still think the Fijians will be able to do enough here. But we will also have a video coming out when the Fijian side is announced. See how close we got to the real selection that does take place. We will also be live on the channel doing the commentary for the game between Fiji and Portugal. It is an 8 a.m. kickoff on Monday morning here in New Zealand. And it will be the last game that takes place of all the group stage fixtures before heading towards those quarterfinals. But thank you all very much for being here. I will see you all for the next one.